right before I came, like right as I was coming into the Discord for pleasantries, uh-huh. I had to burp. Uh-huh. But I like, I like tried to burp, but it, I was like doing other stuff at the same time, so I wasn't paying full burp attention. And I accidentally kind of swallowed the burp. You know, oh, no. sometimes you do, and. It's made me so sad. <laughs> I don't know why. I just started to feel really bummed out and sad the second I swallowed my burp. And I can feel it in there and I want it to go away, but it won't. And now oh, sorry, I just buddy. have this like phantom burp that won't that won't leave me alone. And I'm Could really you taste bummed. it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It tastes like Schlotzky's. Because <laughs> I had Schlotzky's. Oh. oh boy. Well, Ugh. Gavin's here. There's the episode number. Go crazy. Uh, episode 143? Uh. Yeah, it's twelve forty three. I gotta get these burps out. You really, that actually I'm gonna write down a note right now for this de- episode. Fucking depressing. What's that? <laughs> I you I need to find a clip of it. I don't know what it is. I've been racking my brain for days. So I watched the dozen do's that, that uh-huh. have been finished that are to release at some point. What'd you think? I loved them. I had so much fun. It genuinely made my night. I was laughing so hard. You guys did such an amazing job with it. But there's a point in which Jeff Jeff tries to eat something and it is the most like visceral physical reaction I've seen outside of a boxing or cage for fighting. (laughs) You genuinely look like you got wobbled. Like you moved exactly (laughs) like somebody who was about to drop from being knocked out due to getting hit in the head. And I don't, I don't know what fight it is or who it is, but I know you, you just like you have it. So it's the same thing. So I've been in my head trying to go through fights, figuring out what wobble you essentially (laughs) copied and your just displeasure of experiencing one of the things that you had to consume. Eric doesn't know if this is the episode. I think it's the episode. Yeah. Am I Andrew was just about to say the number yeah, and stuff. The episode. It is episode 143. Welcome to F*** Face Podcast that is hosted by Jeff Ramsey, Gavin Free, myself. Eric sometimes comes in. You may be hearing Nick laugh. I'm not sure. I think this we're going to hear Nick laugh now, right? Yeah, this is the is first one, one where Nick's okay. not on mute. Why didn't you laugh during that, Nick? That wasn't funny enough for you. <laughs> it's just going to be anxiety and calling out Nick for not laughing. Or laughing too hard. Was that a better intro? I had to do the intro last episode, two episodes ago, and it was not good. Because I did not plan it. Before we started, we're doing pleasantries. Jeff, you weren't here yet. I think I mentioned it in the episode, but Eric had a different recording set up. And he said, do not throw to me. Like, just whatever you do, don't throw to me. I want to talk as little as possible. And he didn't want to say it while you were there, because if you knew that, you would throw to Eric as much as you possibly could within the episode. (laughs) So, oh, come on. That's absolutely you. I I don't know how you're so fucking incredulous about it. There's no way you (laughs) would not have done that. All you would have done is gone... You would have just gone, what do you think about that, Eric? Over and over, and I was on a laptop with, like, no microphone. I know. I don't know that that's true at all. <laughs> I do. Anyway, you were saying, Andrew? I was saying just that, that that was that was the instructions given to not let you know, and as soon as the show started, you're like, well, it's the intro time. Eric does our intros. Eric, take it away. <laughs> and I went into panic. I was not anticipating that, and you can tell. We just go, oh, no, I'll do it. Oh, this is the show that Jeff, Jeff does. And then this is Jeff. Like, I, I think I introed you twice. And there's one other point, like, in the middle where you're like, I want to hear what Eric has to say, and I just say, nope, we're not doing that. We're you moving on. taking bullets. We're going to... I was, and I felt it seemed so rude. Like I was like, "Fuck you, Eric. You're not speaking." <laughs> but there's no context for the direction given. But uh, I think that was a better intro. That was a step up. I was a little bit more prepared for that. I think one. You nailed it. I thought it was awesome, Thank dude. You. That's great. Yeah, and you really covered for. I was dealing with some internal sadness because of a burp situation, <laughs> and so you covered for me until I was able to get that sorted out, which I really so, appreciate. You're really into figuring out urine smells. You're not into figuring out burp tastes. No, I, I yeah, but, be... it, it tasted like Schlotzky's. I know exactly what it tastes like. I just had it. But like the range of burp flavor is something you would not want to explore in the same way that you seem to have an interest in, in diving deep in the piss. Well, I don't. I just think it's it. I mean, a burp is going to smell like what you put in your mouth. It's weird to me that something that comes out of your dick will smell differently because of something you put in your mouth. 
You but know, I, I just like, think it's more interesting. <laughs> well, it bounces back though from like it goes in your stomach and then back up where it came. I almost feel like that straight like a bouncy ball as opposed to goes in one hole, does a straight shot down and out a lower hole. That makes more sense to me. The bounce back is crazy, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, what do you feel? <laughs> where do you weigh it on this? Uh I, I feel like stuff that comes out your butt is more interesting. I feel like there's more. <laughs> oh, I feel like that is a deeper. He's world. more of a butt guy. That's interesting. Yeah, because it's not coming back up through the the same pipes. It's, yeah. it's more of okay. a, a conversion. Can I counter that? Can I can I explain to you why the butt is the least interesting? Because everything you put in your mouth comes out of your butt for the most part, right? Is there an exception? Well, except for the it's piss. Kind of- yeah, but the piss, the piss is water, right? That came in through the mouthful. It was consumed. <laughs> Things that come out of your butt are like the past. They're what's behind you, like literally and figuratively. You ate it yesterday. It comes out of you. Your body is so disinterested in the butt that it, sh- it shoots it out behind you so that you can keep walking forward and not That's even look point. over your shoulder. Whereas pee and burps come like you're confronted with them. Because they are the, the present thing, and the immediate future in front of you. A burp is almost never a surprise. It's like, oh yeah, the mackerel. Uh, a piss is only ever piss, coffee, or asparagus. None of which are a surprise because it's like, oh yeah. But sometimes there's a fart that pops out where it's like, what on earth? What has you ever happened? had a surprise burp? I have had as many surprise burps as surprise farts in my life. I never forecast my burps. But that you couldn't identify the meal that the burp has come from? It's just, uh, well, it, it depends. I think generally I could, but when I eat something, I never assume it's going to come back as air in the same hole. <laughs> it's going to bounce back up through. That's not an expectation I have. I do assume I'm going to shit this out when I do consume food. <laughs> that's that's going to happen. That's an inevitability we can't avoid. But the burp is not, like, that's a bonus. It's like a surprise thing. It's like, I don't, uh, when you do like a scratch and win and you got the little space at the bottom that's typically like try again, but sometimes you get $5 on it. That's what that is. Mm. I never assume the burp is going to come back with the flavor, but it does happen sometimes. And I think it's very unpredictable when it does. Do you know how, like, sometimes you'll see on like TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, like security cam footage of like a grocery store, like black and white kind of grainy yeah. footage. And some lady or sometimes a dude, but I find it's a lady more often than a dude, will just be like walking down an aisle and then she'll just like squat down and just like pop out two, like pull her pants down, pop out two logs, pull yeah. her pants back up <laughs> and keep walking. Like it didn't even phase her. I hate to or, say or yeah. him. I hate to no, say I, I don't. know exactly what you're talking about. I, I see, don't. I see those videos all the time where it's just like, this This crazy person just took a shit in a grocery store and kept walking. <laughs> do you think you could ever do that? I don't know how somebody can shit and move in such a fluid motion. Like, it's an event for me to... T- First off, I haven't taken a solid dump in like eight years because of the Miralax and the diverticulitis, so it would look like a Jackson Pollock painting in the grocery store. But like, do you think you could do... Just not even break stride and just like shit and move in 15 seconds and just be about your business like nothing ever happened. I don't think I could. I always wondered what it would be like to take a shit at full sprint and whether it could even be done. <gasps> oh uh, god. I, I just don't no. I don't see my I think it's more of a no. mental block for me. Yeah, it just feels so, uncomfortable. So we need to create like the first ever diarrhea run <laughs> where we I all think, try to kill Well, I don't think it'll tired. be the first ever. I don't think anything with butt or shit will, no. will be the first anything. You think anybody's ever had like a race where everybody has numbers yes. on their chest and they stand up in a line and then I've somebody never shoots seen it, a pistol absolutely. and they all yes, run with diarrhea buttholes? <laughs> but what? Okay. Oh, damn, what was this episode? No, I have an idea. What if it was a long jump, but they measure where the shit flies out? So like you have to try to launch it while jumping. It's Are not you where saying your like feet land. the shit would give it's, you a little extra boost? No, no, no. Like you got to oh. like when you jump, you know how typically you're trying to extend for where your feet land. And this one, you're trying to propel the shit midair. Like you're trying to do like a, a roll or like a twist, like a hip flex. So you'd forward. want to spin over forwards or backwards and fire one out yeah. beyond your jump. Exactly. That's exactly right. Okay. Like a long shit jump. As opposed that's, to a diarrhea run, which I feel like that's tougher to, to measure. Well, the that Olympics isn't supposed to be easy. That's true. <laughs> that's a good point. These are trained season athletes. 
Is this in our Olympics along with Frisbee and Cornhole? And all? I don't, no. I, I, I oh, don't think so. I don't think okay. so at all. I do have a new sport you... for us to enter into the Olympics that I think you guys are going to love. Okay. Uh, that we can get to at some point. Uh, Eric and I came up with the other day. Really? I feel like this has been an interesting week. I have spent so much okay. time with all of you, like outside of regulation time spending. Like I spent half a day with Eric at a baseball field this week. I played video games with Gavin, but not Andrew all night last night. I, I filmed a secret podcast with Andrew this morning. Nick is the only what? one I haven't hung out with this week. It was as shocking to me <laughs> as it was you, Gavin. I got I, Jeff texted me this morning about a thing and he said it would take he's like eh, like 45 minutes or something and it would be half that but he's like yeah. 45 minutes so in my head I was like okay so we're recording at 1230 so that's like 1150 ish for me and he's like cool I'm just gonna go home and take a dump and then we can record and I was like what are we doing what are you talking about <laughs> I had an idea at a coffee shop and I immediately left the coffee shop to go record it with Andrew Hey, but well, it's, you immediately the, the, left to take a shit, and then you recorded it. Well, uh, yeah, the shit, the, sh the shit presented itself on right. the drive home. Uh, the, the, the shit wasn't a part of the idea. Uh, it hadn't. It, I hadn't had that inspiration yet. Boy, do we uh, have some supplemental content for you. I do not think <laughs> you're gonna want to watch the YouTube release of Jeff's new show. <laughs> Coffee That's not shit. True. But the point is, it's, I've had some really fun, interesting times with all of you guys this week. I've really appreciated the extra time. And then, Gavin, you and I are going to hang out tonight after work. We've got, yeah, we've got time to come. Yeah, we do. Um, you have time oh, to come? <laughs> <laughs> How much time is needed to come, Gavin? Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's a real misstep by you. Gavin, our friendship is so not awkward. We're hanging out two days in a row. I know. It's great. That's fucking pretty regulation. Oh, Eric says, is that why it's so cold today? Yeah, I think it's because of our plans. It was uh, 28 <laughs> degrees yesterday, and today it's like 12. It's fucking dog shit today. I went for a bike ride in t-shirt and shorts yesterday and was still hot. <laughs> today it's fucking 40 degrees outside. I have a shit story. Please, tell us your shit story. Yeah, so I Gavin got part of this already. Oh, can I? <laughs> should I read out what you said before ending yeah, the ahead. conversation immediately? Go ahead. Dude, I'm in such a risky scenario right now. I replied, what scenario? Andrew said, it's like I'm trying to shit on an ice rink. And then followed up with, ignore this. <laughs> it is now for the podcast. And I replied, four ha's. I didn't anticipate this being a podcast story, but I, was, I woke up. I was doing stuff on my phone. Uh. As one does, I'm groggy. I didn't realize I had to take shit. But then I, I had to, and it was like, you know when you're trying to like pass through a pebble and you just can't get it out, but like it's, it comes out like 30% of the way, and you just can't, like being constipated almost, but it's like you're trying to get this out, but it just won't. Yeah. Is it like one of the ones where you have to give your asshole a little breather and potentially cut kind it off of, midway? Yeah, but you, you don't want to stop, almost like you're in a 127-hour scenario. Like you don't want to lose whatever momentum you have. And yeah, you don't, don't want to make the snip. Yeah, so it's that's I'm struggling with that, but before that even happens, so I sit on the toilet, and I've had this issue in the past. These are the shittiest. I mean, no, uh, that's a bad choice of words considering the story. But these are terrible toilet seats. It snapped. That's what happened before. I think I talked about in the past. I had a broken <laughs> toilet seat that I was using because it's only half broken. I broke the clip. What'll happen sometimes is I'll sit, I'll sit down and I'll go a little high and then I'll go to adjust my body, but I don't lift up. I just like slide and it'll pop off and it broke one. So I broke, I it went bah, like it did the loud pop. I thought, God damn it. I broke. This is fucking broken. I'm an idiot. Next time I'm going to order two of these. I, this is, I'm so mad, but at least, Hey, I only have to piss. This is fine. This is where we're good. Then, then the shit thing happened. And I'm trying to clench and my seat is broken and I'm wobbling all over the toilet. I'm just like going all over the place. I'm trying to get like generate force to push, but I can't because the seat is sliding all over. It was like doing a grind in Tony Hawk. And like, grinding a pole. like I was just going from corner to corner and it was broken. I couldn't do anything about it. And I'm doing stuff on my phone. So I can't like I'm losing a balance point that way. That's when I texted. I'm on an ice rink. Because I was I was like scared. 
skating around my toilet trying to fix this. Surely Fortunate. then you're at risk of your cock and balls slamming into the inner rim of the oh, main there's, seat. There's all sorts of risks going on. <laughs> and this is the start to my day. This is how we're going. This is the beginning. We're just getting things rolling. So you still got uh, the grog. I still am groggy. I'm still putting things together and I'm skating. I thought I was just going to have a nice relaxed start, but no, I'm trying to shit up this pebble while my seat <laughs> is going all over the place. I eventually, after like five minutes, give up. I realized I didn't break it. It just like popped off. It's like a snap on, snap off. So I just resecured it. We're good to go. But I spent like five minutes trying to balance and like going from side to side. It was the worst shit I've ever had. Have you ever seen a 3D printer like mess up the print mid print and it just starts going <laughs> ape shit? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Like spewing out spaghetti as it's like freaking out. All I have never wanted shitting shades more in my life. Like oh. I feel like I would have at least felt cool yeah. during the experience. Like I was, I've never been more on board with that idea, Jeff, than in that moment. I, I have a Nightmare. I have a I have a bathroom story as well I'd like to share if you wouldn't mind. Yes. Let's <sighs> just load up on them right now. Yesterday morning was it yesterday or the day before? I don't know. Who can remember the fucking the I'm so old, the days they just run together now. Mm -hmm. Uh at some point this week, I woke up at about four in the morning, uh, and I was in pain. Uh, and I was in pain for a reason that we can talk about if you'd like. Uh <laughs> I made an error in a previous podcast when I declared uh certain oh, no. I declared certain eras of my life over and oh, uh, and no. how I was unhappy to be in certain new eras. Well, old eras didn't like that. And so they enacted a, re a revenge oh. on me over the weekend. So anyway, I'll tell the piece, uh, the bathroom story first. <laughs> so I get up at like four in the morning in some pain and I also have to piss. And so I go into my bathroom, uh, like my, my pee room. Uh, and above the toilet is the cabinet where I have like medicine and shit. Right. And so, I got the lights off because it's fucking four in the morning, but I can see from the glow of the of the bidet, right? It's got like a gentle blue glow, so you can kind of kind of see in the dark. And uh, it's more than enough to do my business at, without turning lights on and blinding myself. So uh, I start to pee, and while I'm peeing and kind of swaying and half asleep, I put my hand up on the cabinet and, uh, to kind of steady myself and then I like I'm like oh right I gotta get the medicine out and I grab this the, the door handle which is just like a little crystal knob and I grab the door handle to open the door to get out the uh, like the a leave uh, and it pops off in my hand and my hand and I'm like asleep and it's a little slippery for some reason and it just falls through my hand through my piss stream and into the bottom of my toilet while I'm still pissing in my toilet. Oh, no. And so I'm just like looking. I, I got a door. I got a cabinet with no handle now, and I've just got a handle in the toilet, and I'm peeing on it. And so I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck do I do? And I'm, it's, you know, I'm like fucking exhausted and in pain and tired. And so I finish peeing, and I'm like, I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm just going to go back to bed. And then as I'm like turning around to go back to bed, I'm thinking, no, because Emily will get up to go to the bathroom and then she'll flush the toilet, and then this oh, thing will man. fucking get stuck in the pipe, and then it's going to cost me $400,000, and they'll have to rebuild my house for some reason, and my roof will fall in. And so I was like, I, I got to deal with it right now. <laughs> so I have to fucking turn, I have to like, first off, I have to shut the bathroom door so that there's no light pollution for Emily because she's asleep and it's right next to her. And then I have to turn on all the lights. So now it's like fucking two in the afternoon in Texas in my, live in my bathroom. And I have to like, I'm looking around, I and all I can think of to do is just... I just have to shove my hand into my pissy toilet and then grab this this fucking oh. handle covered in pee and then shake the pee off my hand and walk over to my sink and wash my hand and wash my bathroom cabinet handle and all that and then put it all back together and then go back to sleep. At, it took me about 20 minutes. Uh, glove? Like a, just a glove? Nah, I wasn't thinking about gloves at four like in the a, morning. From the dishes? I was just asleep, man. A couple of wooden what spoons? About, like, a plastic... Did I ever talk about when I tried to declog my toilet? Yeah, I could have got plug? tongs. I'd rather get my hand pissy than my tongs I use for my barbecue. <laughs> throw the tongs away and buy new tongs! I'll just Why throw my hand away! Why are you... I don't understand. Here's the thing. You saving it just so it like doesn't go in the toilet is fine. You putting it back on the fucking cabinet is crazy. Well, I cleaned it and washed it and put it back Gavin, on. Gavin, thoughts? <laughs> well, I mean, if... if <laughs> you can clean tongs if you can clean cabinet handles. That's true. I would never view those tongs in the same way, though. 
It would. Well, I'd I wouldn't, have to I wouldn't want to the open the, the cabinet in the same way. It's not going to have pee on it forever. Soap cleans dirty stuff. It's fine like now. <laughs> the anno- Yeah, that's what I wasn't there at four in the morning with my mental faculties. I also wasn't looking to open up fucking rooms and bounce it, like stomp through the house trying to find fucking kitchen tongs to explain to Emily that I've got kitchen tongs in my hand and I'm digging a fucking crystal knob out of the toilet. Okay. If I- There's no way, dude. I, just- I-, I think I know what I would have done. What's that? I think I would have gone in. I would have done a foot job. What? That's way worse. Because it, it wouldn't work. About? It wouldn't work. Just between the between the old this toes. Is, what episode is this? Is this 142? This is the one where Ep- Gavin is becomes a weird guy. <laughs> yeah, he's talking is... about coming on time, and now he's a foot guy. Like you're just a weird dude. Yeah, 143 100... might be the one where Gavin <laughs> yes. really like comes into his own here. I would look. No, yeah, I'd like... you stick a foot and you just kick it out. I'd like to reframe this for you, Gavin. I think you might have a shift of opinion on this whole cleaning of the tongs thing. I'm kind of with Jeff on this. How the if f- you were if you were at Jeff's house, right, and he's he's doing up a meal, and then you're getting something, you're using the tongs to grab something like some food, and he was like, "Oh yeah, those tongs were in my toilet once when I pissed in it." How would you feel about it, regardless of how it was cleaned? Uh, you're not gonna enjoy that. It would ruin the meal. You can disinfect stuff. You nah. can filter stuff, Gavin. Yeah. It's four in the morning. Right. You put your hand in a pissy toilet. You take your hand out. You walk to the sink. You clean it off. It's four in the morning. You put your foot in a pissy (laughs) toilet. How do you clean that off? You hop across the whole bathroom slinging piss foot and then take a shower is what you got to do. That's the worst thing you could do in that situation is stick your foot in a pissy toilet. That is the single worst thing you could do. The weirdest Uh, part about this whole thing to me is that Jeff is very concerned about staying like half asleep while all of this happens once yeah. you wake He's up you're like, awake you're yeah, fucked no, you can't go Jeff back to again, sleep fully. i don't want i want i don't want to lose i don't want to lose Look. three hours of sleep because of one fucking dumb yeah. moment i, I feel like as soon back. as skin touches piss you're awake yes a hundred percent agree no 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 i'm thinking just just using the foot f- like fling it out like a like a goat would kick something no. just like <laughs> fling it and then now you're flinging like, piss no, no, across no, 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 no. You're a yeah, fucking no, animal. Bad. You're a psycho, dude. You're fucking what, wrong. I'm not talking in about all, like at, at, in your and fiber, also, no, no, no. In, in the core of your being. There's something wrong. It's it's not a fling from within the liquid. It's like a foot goes in. You sort of clamp it against the bottom. You smear it up out of the water, and then a oh fling. god, it's so much more gross what you're doing. It's oh, on my like, foot though. God. It's it's like a dirtier piece. I don't want my you foot. You just as made clean like my, oh my god. I'm not going to make a sandwich Jesus with my foot the next morning. You Jeff, just, anytime uh, Gavin comes over, I'd make him wear three pairs of socks oh after this God. conversation. He does not. The way he views his feet, they're monstrosity. No, look, Whatever's no, going I'm, on. I'm down weird there. about feet in that I assume they're already dirty. It's like some people really like touching their shoes and like they wear shoes on the couch. They'll put the hand on the bottom of their shoes. It's oh, all so disgusting and so filth. Gross. That's it's so gross. horrible. So that's gross. why. If I'm going to use something to get dirty, I want it to be the thing that's already dirty and I already treat dirtily. This is a, this is a, as an aside, <laughs> but I'm I'm right there with you on the shoe thing. There's nothing that grosses me out more than when somebody's shoelaces are untied and they're walking oh, around God. stepping on them and they're like, "Oh, I don't care." It's like, "You better care because that's piss on the ground." We already <laughs> talked about it. Birds use this as a toilet. Everywhere you walk is dog piss and dog poop yeah. and animal piss and animal poop, and then you're stepping on it and then you're tying your shoes with those laces with your fingers. I you wear got, shoes oh, without laces. And if I do happen to wear shoes with laces and they come undone in public or in, you know, anywhere near a restaurant or a bathroom, if I have to tie my shoes back up, I have to wash my hands. Absolutely. Like straight after. Doesn't excuse everything you said about sticking a foot in a toilet, though. No. Yeah, and I don't like, there's a precision you can use with your hands that you can't with your foot. Well, you I can, like you also, if, if you get your you hand covered in bowl. piss, if you have your hand covered in piss, you have your legs to walk you to a safe space to clean and decontaminate. If you put your foot in piss, you have to hobble or hop on one leg to get clean. Otherwise, leave a s- snail, like, like, like a slug trail of piss with you where you go. The thing is, the, it, it all boils down to this. It's, yeah, it's going to be less efficient. It's going to be messier. But at no point in my sleep am I going to put my foot in my mouth. You're going to put your hand in your mouth when you My sleep? hand is what like right talking? by my face. I might touch you're, my face you're, while you're a, you're a fucking weird guy. You're going to wash your hand, dude. What are you talking about? 
You touch your face like involuntary. Involuntarily. Now I'm imagining. <laughs> if it's just been if, if it's been knuckles into a toilet and I'm at 4 a.m. and I want to try not to stay as what? And I want to try not to wake up too much. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be doing a good clean job on the old hands. I think it's a yep. safer bet. <laughs> no, but the way you're saying it, it's like you're gonna fucking suck on your thumb in your sleep or something with your no, piss hand. Like it's, not it's be just inside weird. my mouth. I'm just gonna be like maybe like you're- a sniffle and I itch my nose or something in my sleep. This if the that hell? hand, if that hand is so dirty, you don't want it near your face. How are you putting that foot on your own sheets? <laughs> <laughs> that is a fair trade. Yeah, like you'd have to, you have to, you have to wake up at seven a.m. and immediately wash all of your sheets. Just wash your hand. I saved sleep. I was able to go back to bed. I did it right. I, I, re- I, I recovered two hours of sleep that I, I shouldn't have got. I'm I happy with the good. results. I think you did it right. I mean, the more I took, the more I talk what about putting my foot about? in the bog. We the just more spent I feel like 20 minutes because you said it was wrong. Well, what was the last 20 minutes? <laughs> Look, I've come around. You guys have said a bunch of stuff. Okay. And I'm starting to feel like Fair that was enough. a weird move to, to it, try. It was and, strange. I probably wouldn't have done it. I would have thought a lot. I would have probably been down to flipping a coin on whether my hand or my foot should go Dude. in. It, that's part of the problem, though, is you have to know in that moment when you're trying to save sleep that thought is your enemy. You yeah. have to act on instinct because the second you start to make decisions, your brain starts to wake up. So you got to kind of just like go on, just let your body take you. You know, you just kind of go where your body goes and try not to think too much while you're doing it. That's the only way to save your night's sleep. Hmm. Yeah. I probably would have just put on a glove. Hmm. I think I probably would have grabbed the trash bag. I don't, oh, I don't that think I work. have gloves. Mm. That's but a good I'd idea go too. The trash bag. I definitely nice. don't have any gloves. Uh, that I could have used. Trash Oven mitts, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I think 4 a.m., I would have had one foot in the toilet wishing I just got a bag. That would be my situation. <laughs> <laughs> As I fumble around. <laughs> I had to unclog a toilet once, and I didn't have a snake, so I broke a coat hanger, and I plan on using that. I didn't, I didn't want to, I wanted to keep my hand safe, and so the only thing I had was like a big Ziploc freezer bag, and so I put my hand in that, then I held my makeshift toilet snake and it broke while I was like arm in the toilet and the water got right to the lip of the Ziploc and then it, it didn't go down. I was, it's the closest I've been to disaster. That so bag would have filled, 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 it would have filled immediately and just completely countered the entire purpose of the bag and it worked, but I just, yeah, you get a bag, get a trash bag instead and just go whole arm with the trash bag. Oh. I think is the move if you're in that scenario. Can we put this episode out? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, you're the only Let's weird one it. talking about coming on time and fucking <laughs> rubbing your face with piss. And- Old piss foot free. <laughs> Am I the new piss boy? No, nah, you're the I think you're still Yo, there. no, it's that's definitely Andrew. But you are you no, are it's not. One. It's his you fucking. The, no, you're the weird. No, one. You're it's definitely his nephew. Weird. We assigned the piss boy to the nephew <laughs> when he your peed your on an entire plane. Boy. He's way more of a piss boy than me. <laughs> <laughs> I passed the reins. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I love a good deal. There's nothing better than finding one. It's so excited. I'm so excited. Why did I say it's so excited? The deal isn't excited. I'm excited whenever I find one. And when it's a surprise, it's even better. And thanks to Honey, Manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Now, how it works is imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I have saved money on clothing and tech stuff, food. I've saved all sorts of things using Honey. Uh, I was buying for myself. I didn't expect to save any money on some of those items, and then it was so easy to use. It popped up. I saved $15 on some equipment I was buying. It's great. I love Honey. And Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you can be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com face. That's joinhoney.com slash face. You should know what that means already. That's the best kind of notification. 
That's the sound of another sale on Shopify and the moment another business dream becomes a reality. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Whether you're selling bread clips or baseballs, Shopify simplifies selling online and in person so you can focus on successfully growing your business. Shopify covers every sales channel from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform. It even lets you sell across social media marketplaces like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth, Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design or code. And thanks to 24-7 help and an extensive business course library, Shopify is there to support your success every step of the way. What's incredible to me about Shopify is how no matter how big you want to grow, Shopify is there to empower you with the confidence and control to revolutionize your business and take your business to the next level. Now it's your turn to get serious about selling and try Shopify today. This is Possibility powered by Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash face, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash face to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash face. Did you see Stranger Things and think, I wonder if I'd like D&D? Have you watched House of Dragons and thought, hmm, what does a dragon smell like? Or are you a D&D veteran who just loves the game? Behold Tales from the Stinky Dragon, a hilarious audio D&D podcast. It's a show for the D&D amateurs and veterans alike with top-tier storytelling, immersive sound design, an original score, and special guest voice actors each week. Join Dungeon Master Gus Sorolla every episode as he guides Barbara Dunkelman, Chris Damaris, Blaine Gibson, and John Reisinger through an epic and hilarious campaign. Why do you think your listeners might enjoy the show? Because it has a bunch of really funny people in it. If you're somebody who has any interest in D&D, I would highly recommend checking it out. Even if you don't think you do. I know I'm someone who didn't think that D&D would be a thing that interested them. And then I was introduced to it and uh, I enjoyed it a lot more than I'd expect. So I'd highly recommend you check it out. So go listen and subscribe to Tales from the Stinky Dragon wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you. So, so let me tell you about my luck. All okay. right. All right. We've already covered the storm and the ice apocalypse and how I had to <laughs> live in a hotel yes. and then I had to live in an Airbnb and then I had to rent another Airbnb and then I got to move home and then I couldn't get my money back for the Airbnb. And it was all kind of fucked up because I was leaving in two days to go back out of town anyway for mm-hmm. Emily's birthday. All right. Did all that. <laughs> Everything's fine. Move in to, uh, we, to this little town in Lockhart, or a little town called Lockhart, just southeast of here. Uh, it's like a little old barbecue capital, but they have just these amazing houses. It, it's like 30 minutes outside of town, but it feels like worlds away. And there's these huge like century homes that are just absolutely gorgeous. And Emily loves this one particular one that we like to Airbnb. So we just went there for two days, had a big party. They have a heated pool. We invited a ton of people over. Gavin and Meg didn't come. Eric and Barbara, his uh, lovely small wife, did come. Thank you for showing up, Eric. Appreciate that. Uh, had a great time. Had a great day. Uh, uh, had a whole like two-day thing planned. The first night I get there, go, go to bed and uh, thinking, like, finally, I can, I can relax. I, I went through this whole rigmarole with the house and power and have lived, have slept in like nine different beds in the last week. And this isn't my bed, but I'm at least familiar with this place and it's a comfortable, cozy, relaxing place. Finally, I can just fucking relax, go to bed, get awakened at about three in the morning by searing (laughs) tooth pain. (laughs) Come on. First thought is I, I, this is my fault for declaring that the dental era was over. <laughs> top, now, top left back tooth, second to the second from the back tooth is just throbbing in the oh exact God. same way that my tooth oh hurt a no. year ago when I had that surprise reroot canal, remember? Uh. Where you thought it was over and then suddenly they're like, "Ha, fuck you. <laughs> Do it again." Right? <laughs> so, I just like fucking I don't sleep from that moment on. And then I have to get up and prepare for Emily's big day, right? 
And so I'm like, and it's Saturday. So there's like nothing I can do. I even oh. check. I even check at four and four or five in the morning. I even check. There's like, there's no dentist oh. open in Lockhart on a Saturday. I'm not driving an hour or 45 minutes to Austin on a Saturday. And also there's no dentist open on Saturday. This whole idea of like 24 hour dental cares, uh, hospitals and shit is, it's all, it, it's all bullshit when you start to actually Google it and find out where those places are. They never exist. So I'm like, I just have to fucking suffer through until Monday and I guess I'm going to have to get a fucking root canal. I don't, I don't know what else to do. And I don't want to ruin Emily's birthday. And so I'm just like, try to grin and bear it. And I just take a bunch of Tylenol and stuff. And I just try to grin and bear it. And it gets a little better and it subsides a little bit. But I basically had to spend that whole weekend of Emily's birthday celebrating her birthday, hanging out with Eric and Trevor and Barbara were there. And a bunch of people were there having a good time. And, uh, and I was just like trying to ignore the fact that I was in a tremendous amount of pain the entire time. I don't even think I talked about it. I tried not to talk about it even. Uh, what did you say, Eric? You could tell I was hurting. <laughs> you were a little like slow and in this hoodie and just sort of like immediately I just went, something's up with Jeff. So Jeff is in physical pain and trying his best to not. Did you be ask in about physical it? Pain. Uh, we talked about it because he just went. Guess what? It was like no, <laughs> wasn't wasn't no. great. No, uh, but it was like he did a great job. I mean, like participated and was like the life of the party and everything. But the whole time you're just going like he's dying, like he's hurting so bad. <laughs> well, thanks for saying I did again. I, I really did try to like try not to let it affect Emily's good time, you know, and her her birthday weekend. Um. And, uh, and it got a little bit better on Sunday. And then I went to the doctor on Monday and I explained to them that it was this root canal and uh, yada, yada, yada. And they went, yeah, you've never had a root canal there, buddy. You, you don't know what you're talking about. It's just a crown. And they looked at it and there they was just something wrong with the crown. I don't know. They said there was like an imperfection in it and it seemed like it was just agitating my tooth, but that my root was fine. And so they took it off and I have a temporary crown and I have to go back Monday this next Monday to do to run another test to see if there's any inflammation. And if so, then I have to get a root canal. If not, no! then they ordered me a new crown and then I go back in a month and get the new crown put on. But at a minimum, I have a temporary crown for a month or I'm getting a root canal next week and I don't know which yet. <laughs> oh, man. It's just never ending. It's just never ending. Literally... <laughs> Two days after I get my electric and my power and internet and everything turned back on, and I go, okay, it's been a hell of a week. It's been a hell of a year. I've got the stitches. I got the cut up hand already. We've had the ice apocalypse. I just want to have an, a weekend where I can relax and celebrate my fiance's birthday and spend time with friends and just chill the fuck out. And then immediately the universe was like, I'm going to kick you so hard in the dick right now. Your head's gonna spin. <laughs> this is like the third year of root canals since this podcast started. I know. Tell you what, though, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm yeah, not, I'm refusing to be upset about it. I'm refusing to be bummed. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let 2023 be like 2022. So I'm gonna try my best to maintain a positive attitude. We'll see if the universe beats that out of me over the course of the next few months. But <laughs> as of right now, even with a potential root canal on the horizon, I'm 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 maintaining a sunny disposition. Can you get custom crowns with like? Could you get like the face logo on a crown? I don't know. Probably. Eric says yes. You huh. can get that with like fake teeth and stuff too. That'd be cool. What about we? How many crowns that. do you have, Jeff? <laughs> oh, I I don't know. Um, two maybe. Two, two or three. I just when you're saying that, like without context, the the sentence "I'm ordering a new crown" sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> but once you apply the context to it, it really ruins it. Yeah, it does. It's not that. It's, it's, it turns it's out not crowns cool. aren't always fun. Yeah, it's like the most cool descriptor for a thing not cool at all. So Monday, what's that? We find out on Monday. Monday at 10 a.m. I go there. Monday at uh, 10 a.m. I'm gonna put Dennis. that in my own calendar. Monday at noon. Check yeah. in on Jeff. Yeah. I had a thing that happened the other day that reminded me of you, Jeff, where uh, I feel like for a lot of your life, you've had a filter that you ignore constantly, where it's like, oh, I could make a joke here and uh, annoy the person I'm talking to, or I could just hold it in. And more often than not, you would you would go for the joke because it made you laugh. And yeah. I, I feel like I've always appreciated that approach. And um, I, I've had to like put up certain filters since moving here, just so I don't <laughs> offend people. <laughs> And uh, it totally—I must have been tired the other day again, and it just—it was just gone. The filter was gone. I did—I just couldn't stop it. 
I was uh, taking a bunch of camera equipment to film like a rocket test. I had a bunch of Pella cases and tripod and stuff. And an Uber driver picked me up and was like, oh, you, you, you filming something? And I just looked at him and I just said, how could you tell? And I feel like, like growing up in England, the other guy would have been like, ah, how you, you know. Little rascal. Of course you are. <laughs> this guy looked at me like he wanted to murder me. And I was like, oh, this is why didn't my why didn't my British to US filter come on to, to block the sarcasm? And I, it just it just came out without me. I could not stop it. And I, I've not <laughs> I've not felt that guilty <sighs> in so long. And it was just it would have been so innocent in England. I don't think I would have offended anyone. <laughs> He looked at me like I was a piece of shit, and I just well. felt—I f- sat in silence the entire way. It was like a oh. forty-minute ride. Oh, you know what's even worse? You know he gave you a one-star review. I know, oh. and I gave him five and a big old tip. I found out on a uh, Emily showed me a TikTok the other day where you can shows how to look up and see how many one-star reviews you've had. Don't do it; it's depressing. <laughs> oh no! Oh, do you think you've had a lot of ones? That that one I, is probably I, my first one. I've got. I've had like six. <gasps> Six one star. What, yeah. what would you have been doing to deserve? Actually, Pro- I've got two honestly, ones because honestly, probably very similar situations to yours. <laughs> just not uh, filtering. We're just not feeling, just not feeling like it, and just <laughs> say, you know, being a dick. Oh man, <laughs> not, fi- I, not not having my sarcasm filter on. Yeah, I had one once where I was going to the airport with Dan, and Dan has a habit of farting in other people's cars. He'll just let. <laughs> Just let the most not, and he always blames it on the fact that he's like, you know, we've talked about how bad farts and shits can get uh-huh. when you're when you've just traveled, and he's yeah. typically off a plane from England, and he's suddenly dealing with a oh. new diet, and he lets rip just the most repugnant, awful smells. And we once had a driver <laughs> just start swearing, looking like looking straight forwards and swearing, and then he reached. <laughs> He reached into his glove box and just started spraying for breeze <laughs> back over his shoulder into our faces. I, def- I definitely got a one star for that. This isn't even a one star. <laughs> and I'm there just going, I'm just embarrassed. I'm like, Dan, for Christ's sake. And he's like, it's not my fault. And the guy's just like. <laughs> <laughs> What's great about that is you can do anything at that point because you're already at one. Yeah. There's no, you can't get worse. <laughs> It's amazing how how rude the pandemic made us all. Like I've I was rude to begin with, but I have lost any kind of social niceties about burping or farting in public. I don't even you don't even think about it anymore. Yesterday, Emily got home from work and I went outside to say hi to her. And why did she open her car door? I went to say hi and a burp came out and I just let it rip. And it was so fucking loud that a, a couple across the street was walking their dog. And the guy goes, we heard that. And I was like, Jesus Christ. That was three houses over. And then, la- dude, two days ago, I sneezed so loud in the house, it set the glass break sensor off in the air. <laughs> no way. Swear to God, Emily can corroborate. It's in my notes, actually. <laughs> So I've started like, sneezing achoo, loud. Yeah. <laughs> I've started sneezing loud because it annoys Emily. She doesn't like it, a loud sneeze. Yeah. And so I've been trying to sneeze like loud just to piss her off. <laughs> this, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait pause, But now pause, I don't realize, pause. now I can't stop it. To earlier in this podcast, when I brought up that you would constantly be throwing to Eric if you knew you weren't supposed to, <laughs> and your outrage over the accusation <laughs> to that story of... Emily hates loud sneezes, so you're trying to amplify. <laughs> Not just that you're doing them, you're actively trying to increase your volume. I failed to see the connection. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, once I started sneezing loud, I can't stop now. That's like one time in high school, I got real nervous about farting, so I started, I taught myself how to fart quietly, and then yeah. the farts became cool again, and then I couldn't fart with noise, and it took me <laughs> years to build up a, a noisy fart again. <laughs> Farts became farts cool. Became I, cool. Can't, I, I can't make a sound. I, I like my sneezes are like decibel shattering. Apparently, there are uh, alarm setting off now. A loud sneeze is so satisfying though. Mm, to, mm, to, mm, I, I do it when mm, I'm alone. I just mm. blast them out onto the floor. It's the so best. satisfying. Blast them out. You're so fucking weird. You're blasting <laughs> sneezes onto the floor. Well, usually, you know, that? in public, I'm like going into my arm, like my inverse elbow bit. Oh, I see. Try. So to, to have I it can't. just be like, there's no one around. I'm firing this. 
<laughs> so the, you know, ones where like if it's backlit, you're gonna see it. Yeah, love them. Oh man, I was just gonna ask how, how many sneezes are you guys? I'm almost always a three sneeze man. I'm a Every single. Time. I'm You're sing- you I'm only one fire singles every time. Really? Oh. That's so not satisfying. Yeah, no, I'm two. Two every time. Me- two Meg is two. Me- Meg has two, so I-, I always say bless after the first one and you after the, the second one <laughs> ah. without fail. Do you guys remember when I told you, uh, I have so much little dumb stuff today. Do you guys remember how I told you that frustration I had where I have to turn my TV off in my bedroom twice? Yeah. And yes. I can't. I can't make it stop. I didn't mm-hmm. tell you guys this, I don't think, but about two weeks ago or three weeks ago before the ice storm, it just started working again. Like I could just, huh. like I just hit the button. I've done nothing to it. And it okay. just like, it starts working again. But I've real, I realized last night, cause you know, right about the time it started working, we, the power lost w- went out and then we were gone for a while. So I've just now started getting back to watching TV in my bedroom. I realized that now that it turns off on its own or like it turns off with one, with one power button push. Now the volume no longer works. <laughs> What? So now I can turn my TV on and off easily, but I cannot <laughs> change the volume. Just out of the blue. It's like it flipped. Hmm. Before the volume worked fine, I just had to turn the TV off twice. Now I turn it off once and the volume just doesn't fucking work. And I am befuddled on how to fix this. I had the same happen with one of my... I think after it updated, the volume stopped working for my TV. I feel like I just you, forgot the remote. Really? How did you fix it? You just I just re- started re- using the TV remote again. Yeah. I'll, see, I don't know where my TV remote is. I'll have to find it. It's a whole fucking thing. <laughs> huh. What a weird thing for your TV to update out of your remote. Yeah. What a strange future innovation. That's one of the most annoying things about the modern world is that, you, I mean, you can leave stuff exactly where you left it and come back to it and it's different mm-hmm. because yes. the internet did something to it. Yeah. I never update anything. I feel like you never update. I feel like that's the move is never update. update anything. You never even downloaded Discord. <laughs> no, but you're on my listen. That was a very sharp phone by you, and you're on my team last week about it. Just the same, you said. Exact same experience. I don't want to hear that energy. Your your team website Discord, your browser Discord guy now. Yeah, I'm back on. And to be honest, hey now. Gavin, to be honest, after what you've said about coming and sneezing and foot piss, I don't even know if I want you on the web browser Discord side anymore. I need to consider, like, I need to evaluate the roster, and if we're disowning me from that team, (laughs) possibly it's up for review. I'll get back to you when I go through a thorough investigation of everything, but it's up for review. Okay, I'm on probation. (laughs) Are you on the app right now? No, I'm back on the I'm back on the desktop app. Fuck. Okay. God damn it. (laughs) Yeah, I just reinstalled. Oh, you're on the app. You're back on the the way you said that. Okay, no, it's good. I, da- I stay on I there. Uninstalled it and reinstalled it. Stay on there for a little bit. And, and I'll, I just I'll let you know. Let me know when I can come back though. Yeah, I'll let you know. That made me laugh so hard I get dizzy for a second. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you guys see that video somebody posted on the face subreddit of Fifty Cent talking about getting shot in the face and the pain level? No. He got shot in his face. Fifty well, Cent was shot nine shot times. Him. Yeah. Yeah. He's is, been that's shot what his claim to fame. He's he, oh, he survived. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he said in this interview that somebody that was clipped on the, uh, on the face subreddit that getting shot in the face hurts less than a root canal. So basically what I'm saying is that 50 Cent is saying that I've essentially been shot like six times in the face. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I can say that I've essentially been shot in the face five or six times. Yeah. I guess it like probably contextually, right? Like I assume he didn't know he was going to get shot in the face when it happened. I don't think so. But you probably know not. a root canal is coming. Yeah. There's never been a drive-by root canal, which would be horrendous. <laughs> I think be that'd brutal. be the worst case scenario. That'd be a bad one. Yeah. It would be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't <laughs> What happened to you? I got mugged. He root canaled me. Like it's such a <laughs> He stole my root. <laughs> I took my wallet and my root. <laughs> Oh, I would give so much up before I was willing for them to take my root. I will throw my wallet. I will run if you're coming after my root. <laughs> Anything but the root. Do they take the root in a root canal? I don't. Do they, do they take it or don't do you they need like the root? A new, no, you, you have multiple roots. Oh, uh, you, have really? like two, you have like three roots in your tooth and they take uh, the one that's. So that's there. how you can have multiple root canals on the same yeah. tooth. Yeah. And then if you get uh, if you lose all your roots, then you lose your tooth and they just fucking yank it. It seems weird that you only get two goes at teeth. 
<laughs> it yeah. does. I could have done yeah. with like maybe one every, one set every twenty years. Hmm. Well, I still I have my wisdom teeth, and I feel like they're my like backup tires. Is the way I view this. <laughs> I'm supposed to get them removed. I mean, they took the move. fact. No, but the fact I still got them, I just feel like I got some extras in the chamber if I need them. <laughs> you don't lose like a canine, and they put one of your wisdoms there. What do you mean? Well, no, no. I just I feel like it gives me a false sense of security. Like I know logically what you're saying is accurate, but in my head, I got a few backup tires in my mouth. He's got a spare in the trunk. <laughs> it's like saying that I got a spare in the trunk, but I have to use it in the trunk. Like, what do you mean? How's that affect? No. Well, listen. Just start spinning in there. From a numbers perspective, it would make sense. Down a tooth, up a tooth. If it emerges. I don't know how I'd even pull it. I guess I'd have to... Could I get my wisdom teeth pulled and then put it into my mouth if I wanted to somewhere? <laughs> Probably no. not. What do you mean? What if, I did like a, what if I did like dentures? Like a denture, but it was just like wisdom teeth. Yeah, yeah but then you can do whatever. On. You can do like dog teeth. Like if you're talking about dentures, <laughs> well, not, you know, it doesn't have to be I'm your teeth. I'm not fucking weird, Eric. I'm not going to put dog teeth in my <laughs> oh, mouth. Oh, maybe Eric's wanted... the weird one. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin is doing whatever he can to take the weird yeah. off. <laughs> I, I'm trying to say the most normal shit. <laughs> putting your own teeth back in your head after they get pulled is like, this is so insane to me. To Like I never thought about ever thought about that can like, you imagine a full smile of just wisdom teeth it looks <laughs> oh my wisdom god <laughs> so fucking big oh my god <laughs> giant blocks <laughs> the toothiest grin you've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> how do how did the wisdom how does a tooth get made do we start with teeth? Uh, how does anything how do get I, made? You I, grow it. Okay. Well, I, yeah, but could, could I could I put it back in and like could I grow more teeth if I wanted? Like, why does my mouth just stop? That was what I'm saying. It's like DNA tells your body to yeah. grow two sets, and I think well, you can see X-rays of kids, right, where they have all their teeth, but they have all their adult yes. teeth just sitting dormant above just their. Wait, something old teeth. that you don't want to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So you got your look all how your low down teeth that one is. If that yep. guy, like, smashed his chin, like, riding a bike, one of his teeth could come out the bottom. Mm -hmm. I would say, looking at this photo of all the, it's, like, normal teeth and then all your compartments for teeth. If somebody mugged me and stole a tooth, I'd be like, fucking idiot, they don't know I got 20 more. <laughs> I got 20 more they could have taken, not even they, visible. They didn't I got check my hidden compartments. <laughs> also, look how freaking weird that wisdom tooth looks. Like, imagine a yep. full set of them. That's what Andrew wants. Take yeah. them out and the put wisdom. them in the front. The wisdom's the one right at the back. They look like they look like the little hats you put on like rack of lamb after you. Yeah, you know what I mean. The end of a chicken leg or something. Yeah. I would look like an extra in a Flintstones movie if I had a full <laughs> rack of those. Like it's the it's like a prehistoric vibe you get from them. Dude, that guy's got teeth up by his nose, down by his chin. It's it's horrible. <laughs> Do you guys remember earlier when Gavin thought the most logical solution to a problem was to stick his bare foot in a <laughs> into a bowl of piss and use said, it as a and use it as a little monkey hand? Well, he said do a goat kick. Yeah, do a goat kick. I'm gonna Which be thinking to me, about. I think I'm gonna be. Backwards. I'm gonna be thinking about that for weeks. I was just trying to keep my hands clean. It's a, it's just well, another appendage. Okay, but let's just like realistically go through the motions of a goat kick. A goat kick is backwards, right? So yeah, you're going yeah. toes in. Yeah, I, in my head, I'm 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 like len on the cistern. So you're standing over the toilet. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like back footing it out. Are you on the toilet? Like, are both no. feet on? Okay. I'd so say I'm str I start straddling the toilet, <laughs> and then I sort of like lean on the the tank, and then I I do like a back pass on the handle okay. as it flies yeah. out. No, that's way better than just putting your hand in and grabbing it and then moving on with your, with your day. It's advancing. That's a terrible idea by you. <laughs> I, just, I already came around at it. I <laughs> know, I know. I just, right. I was You're struck right. again You're by right. it. It was just it's the, like, to bring it someone, back up. There's it's someone really, out there. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like if I said, what if you use both elbows to fish it out? Because you don't really use those. Like, that's fine. Like, I would, I think I'd actually rather my elbows than my foot. I would agree. If my elbow could fit deep enough into the bowl, I would use that. Like, mm. both of them? And, like, a, <laughs> like a trap, like you're trying to pinch it with your elbows? I, they just wouldn't mm. fit in, though, would they? No, I don't think I could do that. Yeah. But if I had, like, I don't know, like, John Jones's arms and really, like, pointy, long elbows, I think I could make that work. But that's very specific. I think there's someone in the comments who would have thought about a foot going in. Sure. Oh, definitely. Funny. I think it's understandable to consider it, but to then act like that should be the plan is and to advocate for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the 
That's the issue. Did you, you guys wanna put you want to put yourself on the level of a comment lever who's saying like, oh, I left this comment about how I'd also do a goat kick in the toilet. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't. I, that's where I came from, Eric. I'm a comment lever. Those <laughs> yeah, are I'm a comment those lever are, too. Those are Gavin's know. people. Goat goat Let kickers in the comments. unite. If you, if you do a goat kick in your piss toilet to get a cabinet knock out. I think my issue with the comment lever comment, Gavin, by you is stating that there's some like someone would have done that. That doesn't mean a whole lot. And also, like, who is that person? Like, you might not actually want to align with that that individual. Just because there is one doesn't actually prove anything. I just feel like a foot is a go-to when you don't want to touch something. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You're still touching it. I don't know. Your foot is attached to you. Just so you know. Like, yeah. what do you mean by that? I don't know. Yeah. I think you just really... We're talking about Micah Parsons before you join. And the pleasantries being a foot guy, he loves feet. You are like the reverse of a foot guy. I hate feet. I don't want. I want. I want nothing to do with them. You have like a hatred fetish of feet, mm. as opposed to liking feet. I don't want to touch one. They're not attractive. They're dirty. No thanks. You ever? You ever looked at a foot and said like, "Hmm, <laughs> that's a good looking foot." Actually, no. you you won't believe no. This. J Never. Just this week, <laughs> I, I saw my first foot that I was like, actually, that's a pretty good foot. You are really? so weird. It, it was it was Katy it's Perry. So weird. Katy Perry tweet. Uh, she had on Instagram. Oh, I no, think she put up like. So gross. I think she started selling a shoe or something to do with. But the the foot model that she posted, I was like, okay, that's probably the best looking foot. And I still don't want to do anything with it. I wouldn't want it like I wouldn't want to touch it. But I I had to admit, like of all the feet I've seen, that's probably the best one. Well, I have yet to see a foot that I feel that way about. So maybe Let me try yeah. to find it. Let send me, me a picture of Katie No, Perry's I'm good, foot. I think. I think I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm good. I was right there with you. That, that's the one. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's actually a pretty inoffensive foot. Uh, just that's a, just a I fucking don't... foot, dude. It's yeah, just... I don't let you. <laughs> it looks exactly <laughs> like every other foot I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know. You want to cover that in piss. I don't. I don't. <laughs> You, you want to goat kick that? <laughs> no, you're making it so weird. I'm saying, <laughs> oh, you no, know, we're just saying what you said. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that was the best. Oh my the best God. one I've seen yet, and and I still <laughs> the best am one. Not into Imagine it. Jeff looking at a foot and saying, "That's the best one I've seen yet." <laughs> yeah, I got one. My... It's like surely <laughs> you've seen the. Surely you've once seen a sandwich. And no, like, it's the no, best looking sandwich no. I've ever seen. Here's the problem. It Doesn't means mean you you're taking it. inventory. It means you're taking inventory, and that's strange. You have a Rolodex in your head of feet, and you're like, yeah. that one's the best one. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it's that you had I mean, the that's... thought. It's... <laughs> I think that happens unintentionally, doesn't it? Like, you just sort of file stuff away. Could you imagine, Gavin, if let's, you and I were in the same room together, and I said, you got to come over here and see this. This is the best foot I've seen in 28 like, years of living. Listen, 28 years, this I is didn't, the foot. But that, that's the thing. I wouldn't would be like... <laughs> I didn't like, oh, you got, guys, you got to check out this foot. I just mentioned you it just because did. it came up. No, he it's only because did. you said, have you ever seen a foot? And I was like, well, it's the perfect. Ah, I, I was in my notes. I was just. Andrew, <laughs> it's, oh it's as if, it's as if you were hanging out. We were hanging out and I was like, hey, Andrew, I'm not one to be sexually attracted to bananas. <laughs> But look at this fucking banana. You have to admit, if you were going to do something to a banana, this would be the banana, right? No, it would only make sense if Andrew was suddenly like, you ever wanted to have sex with a banana? What are you talking about? It came up in conversation. Wait, what do you want to do to that foot? I don't want to do anything. It's the point. It's the best looking one I've ever seen, and I want nothing to do with it still. I just have to admit, it's probably the most inoffensive one I've ever seen. Inoffensive. I don't think that's weird. I don't know what. He, that, he reacted so strongly to that foot that it stuck in his brain oh to the point where he could instantly recognize the photo. It was like this week. <laughs> this foot has done a number on you, man. You <laughs> have probably at some point seen the best pastrami sandwich that, that you've ever witnessed, right? But if you're off pastrami, you're probably not going to eat it, but you have to be like, you know what? That one looks really good. You know, you know what, though? <laughs> I'm not off pastrami. Oh, Ooh. he's back. I pastrami. I pastrami hard. But once again, though, <laughs> sorry, just to counter Gavin's point, this is a thing he loves. This is, that's why he'd remember and catalog yeah. it because he loves them. He loved them. Then he didn't. 
then he fell out of love with it. But the love yeah, wasn't. It would, make, it would make more sense if I was like, God, I used to love to jack off on feet, but then I stopped. <laughs> yeah. I just wasn't yeah. into it anymore. But now I think I'm yeah. into jacking off on feet again. Like, that's different. <laughs> it's nothing like that. I think it's pretty much exactly like that. I, okay, I I'm not similar. an architect, but sometimes you see a building that's like, that's a pretty cool building. And you want to yeah, fuck it? No! But I don't think I, Why, what's I don't it think got I, to do? But you didn't, you, but you aren't saying that you have, like, <laughs> hatred for buildings. You said you have hatred for feet. Okay, Look, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to dogpile. I'm just, I, it's very inconsistent to me. So it has to be, so, okay, okay, so it has to be something that I've, I hate, but then recognize that. I'm going to find s such a good example eventually. <laughs> This is Gavin's new life hack. If you don't be attracted to feet, but if you are, be attracted to this foot. I think Gavin's life hack is when you get dunked oh. on, take your time with the comeback. You'll get them later. <laughs> You've got the rest of your life to think of a comeback. Take your time. Oh. Oh man! I just think it, sometimes <laughs> when you're the opposite, like you're, you're the opposite of a foot guy, sometimes you have to just. <laughs> Are you alright? No, oh, no, I'm dying. I'm I'm close to dead. We need to find out if that foot model is British because if so, they need to be a toad in the hole. <laughs> you do need to have an extended toe tongue. in the hole. Toe in the hole. That's toe Kevin's the fetish hole. side. He's doing. <laughs> oh. It's just like people it's pop just their feet in. Women popping put big their toes feet through a toe toast. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I guess you could compare it to like you know, as a straight as a straight man. I've, there are sometimes you see a guy and it's like that's a good looking person. No, I don't want to do anything. Oh. I wouldn't want to interact with him in that way. But I recognize that it's what Eric what. Do you do you hate do you hate guys in general? I'm just not attracted to guys in general. What do you mean? <laughs> well, your basis for the feet is you hate the feet. You repulse my feet. Oh, just oh my I've God. never I've never looked at somebody visually and just thought that's an inoffensive looking person. <laughs> <laughs> that's just they're just people. They're just people. <laughs> I don't know why I can't come up with a good comparison. What's wrong with this situation? No, I think you just need to punt. You need to punt. You need to sit down for a while and revisit this when you get the ball again down okay. the road. I think you're just gonna right. you're gonna be like fourth and eighty if you keep going. Just punt. Okay. Just punt on your oh. third down. You know that's good advice. <laughs> okay. We should wrap this up, I think. Uh, Eric's going to blow a fuse in the Discord chat if we don't. Thank you for listening to another episode of the F*** Face Podcast. If you made it to the end of this one, there should be no doubt in your mind two things. One, this is a pretty entertaining podcast. You should probably tell some people about it. And two, Gavin is a fucking freak. We'll see you next week. <laughs> hey, guys. Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of F*** Face and Egg. Let's play with food dice. Andrew is not a yogurt guy. Jeff wants to play rollerball. What fruit can you throw the furthest? More mall talk. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs>